Hello, this is Margaret Fetty from the University of Sewing at the Tailored Fit, your Bernina dealer in Bloomington, Indiana. I wanted to show you about cleaning your sewing machine, and we're gonna start off with a three series. This would be the same for, say, your 108, your record, or your two series, or your three series. So they're gonna have a lot of similarities what I'm doing right now and I want you to know how to be able to clean your sewing machine. I am seeing a lot of people making a lot of masks. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people doing a lot of heavy duty sewing because they've got some time on their hands. So I wanna make sure you're keeping your machine in good shape. So let's start off with a couple of things to just note when you go to clean out your sewing machine, the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to turn it off, okay? So we turned off the power, that way we can't start any moving parts and you can't get hurt, which is the big thing. So I'm going to remove my foot and I'm gonna remove my needle. And by the way, six to eight hours worth of sewing on these guys and they're dull. So they're the cheapest thing you can do to keep your machine running really well. Change your needles frequently. So we're gonna just set that needle aside because it's pretty new, so I don't need to get rid of that one right now. We're gonna remove our table. Just press down on that button to remove that table. I'm gonna open up my bobbin area. I'm going to remove my bobbin case and I'm gonna set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread right here and I'm gonna pull my thread out of the machine in the direction it was threaded. That was just a little bit of thread. You can throw it away. It's not gonna hurt anything. So, I wanna show you some of the tools I typically use to clean our machines with. I like a nice big brush. Yes, I know a little tiny one came with your machine, but this is, works a whole lot better. It's got nice big bristles and we sell them you don't have to buy them from us. I'm sure you can get them in lots of places, but they sure are handy. Another thing I find really handy when I'm cleaning out my sewing machine is a good quality pair of tweezers. If you get threads caught somewhere, they really will help you get them removed. We also have hemostats. What are hemostats? Well, hemostats are a really cool thing in that they have a locking mechanism. They look like a pair of scissors, but they look, they're very interesting. They have a locking mechanism on them. And what they do is they grip things. Let's go back to that little piece of thread I had, and it'll hold that. So if I have trouble and I'm trying to pull some terribly wound piece of thread where it's not supposed to be, these can be super handy. And they're beautiful because they're tulip pink. So you should get a pair of these. Yes, we carried them too. Then the very, very, very handy dandy thing that you need is oil. Oil is probably the most important thing that you can have around for working on your sewing machine. And we have these really nice pen type of oiling system has a very small pinhole so that you're not gonna put a ton of oil in the machine if you're not, unless you really intend to do that, but I don't think we need to do that today. So we've got our machine open. The next thing we're gonna do is this is my plate, my plate for uh, my zigzag plate and see this little bullseye right here? Hopefully we can get in there with the camera and show that little bullseye. We're gonna put our thumb on that and we, and sometimes I have to put two thumbs on it because I'm getting, ah, look at that. Look at that. All that dust and dirt right there. Well, we need to take care of that. So let's go ahead and before we do that, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna pop out the hook for our sewing machine and we're gonna set that right there. But look at all that fuzz. We need to clean this machine. So for starters, I am going to brush out towards the 
this part of the machine. I'm not brushing that way because it'll get into the machine doing that. So make sure when you're doing this brushing, you're brushing away and out. Then after we get everything around the feed dogs, we're gonna brush the inside of the machine. There we go, we're gonna brush all of it towards us. Yes, you might end up with some of it on you. I'm sorry about that, but it's better than being put into the interior of the machine. So there we go, we brushed all that out. And those nice soft bristles are not gonna harm anything. So then we're gonna look at this. We'll get that bit of fuzz off of there. So that's all cleaned up. No more fuzz on that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put one drop of oil back there. And then we're gonna put this back into the machine. Now, this takes, and you're gonna have to hold your tongue to the side of your roof of your mouth and probably do a couple of dances the first couple of times you do this because it's not the easiest to get it back in there. Ah, I found some more of that fuzz. Make sure I don't have any more put my arms or fingers around there. And now what we're gonna do is we push this all back in. Now, before I put everything all back together for this machine, I'm gonna turn my hand wheel up and down without a needle in it. I'm gonna turn it up and down and look at that. It did not pop out. If I don't have my hook in right, it will pop out. The other thing I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my oil one more time and right now I can see the metal of my hook in between my feed dogs. And let me show you one thing. There's big black hole. We're gonna get in there and show you there's a big black hole. We don't want that. We wanna see the metal. See how I can see metal in there now? We're gonna put one drop of oil on that. Now, there isn't a needle in the machine and we don't have anything back together. Again, we're gonna turn this on for just a minute. And now we're gonna run the machine without anything in it. And look at that. And listen to it. It's nice and quiet and it sounds wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the machine. Now, we all, all we have to do is put everything back together again. The, the switch is plate is gonna go back over top of that. We're gonna put our foot back in place. And we're gonna take and get our bobbin case and we're gonna put that in here. I'm gonna trim off some of that extra thread. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brand new needle back in my machine because I know you guys probably need to put a new needle in your machine. We've closed everything up. We now thread the machine and what I always recommend since you just oiled it, and even though we didn't put a lot of oil in it, what I'm gonna recommend you do is go ahead and put a scrap piece of fabric in here and stitch on it for a couple of minutes and make sure there's no excess oil gonna get on any of your fabric. You don't want it to happen on a good project. And your machine ought to be ready to sew for you now and do great and you won't probably need to do that for another month, but let's do that monthly and you'll be taking really good care of that expensive sewing machine you bought. This is Margaret Fetty and I hope you have a wonderful day and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at info at universityofsewing.com or you can call us at 812-323-2665. I am happy to answer your questions. Please don't hesitate to call. Have a great day.